In this week's episode of Working with Evernote, I'm going to take you through the work chat. Hello and welcome to episode 56 of Working with Evernote and in this week's episode I'm going to take you through how to use Evernote's work chat which is a great feature if you are collaborating with people in a note or indeed even in a notebook. It's a really good way of keeping all the relevant comments, notes and additions that people want to give you a heads up on uh, within Evernote. I've used it a few times, I, I must confess, I'm not a heavy user of Evernote's work chat, but the times that I have used it within a note or within a workbook, a shared workbook that I'm working a project with, it has been fantastic. It's reliable, it's solid, and particularly, as I say, for those of you guys who regularly collaborate on a note, I really think this is a worthwhile way of keeping the comments about a note in one place. Now, I am aware that there are plenty of applications out there that allow you to collaborate and chat on different projects. Um, <clears throat> to do is Twist, it is in beta, beta, I think, at the moment. And of course, we've got Slack. But if you really want to keep everything in one place, so you've got the notes on a project, and the comments on a project or keeping within one application, then Evernote chat, uh, work chat might be something that you want to look at. I should point out at this stage that work chat might not be available on the free accounts. I don't actually have a free account. I use a pro account. Uh, so that might be something for you guys to check out which version of Evernote you're using. If you're using the free version, you might not have this feature. But for those of us who are out there and we're willing to pay a little bit of money, it's not exactly expensive, um, to use the full featured Evernote, then we certainly have a work chat. And as I say, I've used it a few times and I have found it incredibly useful. So without any further, oh, I keep saying that. One thing I should point out, for those of you guys out there who are regularly watch my videos here on this channel working with, uh, I have just about to start, I will start this week, a newsletter where I will publish or send a newsletter out with a link to all of the videos I publish each week. And I will also include the weekly blog post that I write on Medium every week. So if you are one of those people who prefer things to come to you via email every week, once a week, then this is a really good way of you to, to keep up to date with the productivity videos that I do because what I really want to do is I genuinely want to help you guys to become more productive and to become better at everything that you do. I really want you basically to have more time to do the things that you really want to do. So if you want to keep all to get all my videos together in one place on a weekly basis plus my blog post plus any other news I'm thinking about adding in some other like videos that I found during the week that I could share with you. Then please look in the comments section below, there will be a subscribe button, you can click on that and all you have to do is give me your name and your email address and I will be sending this out to you every Friday. Okay, let's get into the main part, the main feature of this episode and that's Evernote and Evernote work chat. Okay, so here we are in the in my inbox, and these are the notes that I've collected this week. Oh dear, quite a few. I've obviously been quite busy. But if you look at this now, what we have is a note here, and let's just say that I want to actually share this note. There are several things that I can do. But before we do that, I should just point out, work chat can be found down here in the bottom left-hand corner. And I should, as I said at the beginning of this episode, I wasn't sure if this is a premium version or a free version. It is actually a premium version um, <clears throat> no, a feature of Evernote. But if we go into this, if you can see from this interface, this just looks like a regular note interface. And indeed, it's like a regular, I suppose it's a little bit like messages or uh, WhatsApp and so on. 
And that's one of the nice things I like about this because you can actually keep everything in one place. Now let's say I want to share a note. Let's go back into my inbox. Let's say I wanted to discuss this note with my wife and say that we want to develop a course around this particular note. All I have to do is I have a few options, but the first thing is I would actually click on share. That gives me a few options here. I can type in my wife's name. She's already in there. And then I can add in, let's discuss this later and share. Now, if I go back down into my recent chats, you'll see that now we've got this here. If I click on that, it opens up the note directly for me, which is fantastic. Um, and that's one of the beauties of using Evernote work chats because this keeps everything in one place. And if you're like me, where I have Todoist is my task list manager, Evernote is my note application, then I can actually discuss projects. You can actually share notebooks as well in the same way. So if I open up in my, like this course here, I've got my Udemy courses here. If I want to share this notebook, um, actually all I have to do is go into notebooks. I can click on Udemy here. I can click on shared and then I can again type in my wife, click on that and I can send that. So that's going to be sent. Look down here and sure enough, the Udemy courses notebook has been shared. You can share so many things directly within Evernote with your partners, with your spouse, with your friends. Imagine the things that you can do with this. It's like you can set up your, um, you can set up like a vacation notebook where all of, if you're going on vacation with your friends, you can actually collect everything together in one place. Work chat is really, really cool way of doing it. It means that you're not messing around with so many different applications. Anyway, that's what I want to do is I just wanted to feature a little bit on work chat to show you how it works. It is a really nice feature and something that will just give you a little bit more uh, organization within, particularly when you're collaborating with other people. Okay, hopefully this episode has been eye-opening and useful for you. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to contact me at any time. Just leave a message in the notes, the comment section below, or you can email me directly. My email address is below. And also, I just want to remind you guys, don't forget to subscribe to my, um, <clears throat> subscribe to my newsletter, my weekly newsletter. The newsletter will give you all the de all my videos all into your inbox every Friday. So if you're one of those people who likes things to come to you and you not to have to go looking for them, then my newsletter that comes out will be a very, very useful feature for you. Okay, I wish you all a very productive week and I will see you in the next episode.